Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to cook some homemade spaghetti. What we're going to use today, molasana, double O, farina, uh, farina in Italian is flour, hey mum, how do you yeah. say it? Flour. No, in Italian. Farina. And we've got four eggs, I don't know, how much flour do you think we'd use, how many cups roughly? Four cups. Four, four cups? Four, cups. Four, four eggs, four cups of flour. So my mum starts off with a little bit of flour. She'll add the eggs in now. Who taught you how to make the uh, spaghetti, mum? My mother. Eh? That's a tradition handed down for many, many years. Now she'll grab a fork and start mixing that up a little bit with the fork. And then after she's got most of that mixed up, she'll start putting more, more flour in. bit of Italian music in the background here for you. So when that now we start to knead by hand. Let's add a little bit more flour as she she goes. And then what we'll do is after a while, we'll knead it on this board. This board that you can see here, they bought this back from Italy. I'm going to take over now. But this process is a lot easier for for me now than it is for me mum. Put a little bit to the flour. So what we do is we'll That's sprinkle nice. some flour you're getting supervised, don't you, Mum? <laughs> so we'll sprinkle some flour on the board so it doesn't stick. So this board that we're using is very old. It's come from Italy. When would you, when would this, this came back with you from Italy, didn't yeah. it? Didn't it? Back probably what? 98. Back in 98. How many years is that? 21, 21 years ago. The pasta machine we got here is, is a Napoli and it's from Italy. Now you can make a big batch of this and and then freeze it, but we don't do that. We like it fresh. I think a lot of a lot of Italians do do freeze. So it's starting to come together pretty good now. But we're just going to put a bit more flour here now. It's quite a simple process, really. 
there's nothing really hard about it. So what we might do, we might either fast forward this part, we'll just pause it here. I didn't see what time I started needing this dough, but we've probably been going for what, yeah, probably 10 minutes. All right. So now, what we'll do now, is we'll roll it. I'm gonna roll it out a bit. So what we've done here is we've finished rolling the dough out and what I've done is cut them up into relatively equal parts and I've let them rest a bit. What I'm going to do now is just push them out slightly by hand and we're going to roll them out the pizza, the, the pasta machine. Okay so We'll run through the machine once. Now these pasta machines have got adjustments on the sides here. Okay. So what you want to do is start rolling it out at its thickest, thick, thickest set, setting first and then gradually go down one step until you reach the required thickness. Now it's important to make sure you keep enough flour on both sides. So you need liberal amounts of flour both sides. So making sure both sides is liberally co coated in the flour. Now we'll adjust it down one notch and we'll go through the second time now. And in the box where we store the past the machine there's an, another attachment that we use to cut big spaghetti but I don't well today it actually cuts two types of pasta So now we'll go down one more notch, and this should do it now. Is that thick enough and thin enough, Mum? Yeah. Which number? Uh, number five. All right. We normally go down to number four. It's quite easy to do with these pasta machines. In the old days, they used to do this by hand. Hey, Mum.
fresh pasta. So much better than that stuff hard pasta you buy uptown. So your mum's supervising me, <laughs> making sure I do it correctly. She's just standing just to the side, off the side of the camera. So what, what we're going to do next is we'll, you want to grab that attachment mum for the spaghetti? We're going to add the attachment onto the pasta maker. So you can see so that's a fettuccine and that's for the spaghetti. So this here, it's just got those grooves. So it just slides in. Okay. You've got to be quite liberal with the flour. We need lots of flour so that the pasta won't stick together. Now I can just mix some bit more flour on that. Yeah, you can see that now. Are they not stuck in? They're not sticking together at all now. So we'll go to the next one. So we're going to let this pasta dry now yeah. and we're going to cook this tonight, tonight. Yeah. but what I'll do is I'll show you our pasta machine this is a package so this is the brand we've got so it's a Napoli pasta machine it's not an overly expensive I mean for the price work perfectly they work great you can buy attachments to make, not lasagna, what do you call them? Well, they obviously they make lasagna too. Violi, and, and we do have one somewhere here. I'll have to dig out, try to find it one day and show how we make ravioli. We're now going to make the sauce for the spaghetti, fresh spaghetti we just made. So what we like to use, we like to use this sauce here. I find it's very nice and sweet with the basil. They're not a bad company, this one, Muti. Now they're readily available here in Australia. We, we buy this in Coles. Well, we always get the best mints that we can find. So we always go to the butchers and get the top quality. So what my mum's done now is she's put some olive oil. Generally put a, a tad of uh, garlic as well. And we cook it slow very slow and once it's got a little bit of brown then the sauce goes in and then we're going to put on a very low heat oh, what's it called that meat mince meat, mince meat. Uh, as you can see now the mince meat is half cooked for use later on Excuse that, this is my pet parrot. Thinks it's, it's having a laugh. So that's it, that's just going to uh, sizzle away there in a the low heat.
for uh, some time and then uh, we'll come back later when we're ready to cook the spaghetti. We've got some water boiled now yeah. and my mum's put olive oil in there and the idea of the, with the olive oil is it stops the pasta from sticking together as it cooks and we're going to add some salt as well. So what you'll need is one of these colanders. Tip that pot into that colander and that'll sieve the water through. And then we'll put the pasta back into the pot and then mix the sauce with it and it's ready to eat. guys that's our homemade traditional spaghetti that's taught through the generations of my family uh, based in uh, Abruzzo in in Italy from a, a little town called Osonia in amongst the mountains it's west of Rome how far from Rome would it be by drive probably four hours or so it's not that it's it's a far distance it's just that it's a mountainous mountainous areas so it takes a while to reach there from Rome and that's your traditional Italian homemade spaghetti I know I've promised this video for a while uh, some of some of you out there have been waiting for a while so I finally had the chance today to film it and I hope it's what you're expecting so you know what it's time to do I'm going to go and get him stuck in that spaghetti and We've made enough there to last till tomorrow, so what's left over tonight, we're going to put in the fridge and going to heat it up and then have it for probably lunch tomorrow or maybe leave it till tomorrow night. We'll see. Who knows? We may even have it for both. So thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching right till the end, those who have watched right to the end. And also don't forget, please, it'll help me a lot if you like the video and subscribe. I've got a lot of new videos coming up soon. So, till next time, see ya.